Hi, this is Shirley from Shirley's World, and I'm going to show you my deck and my gardens. Okay, this was the extent of the deck that I had, or the porch that I had before. So now, uh, the deck guy came and extended and gave me a little... I think it's just 12 by 12, uh, 12 by 12 deck. It's only that big because that's all the wood that I had that he was usable. He still had to buy a lot of wood, uh, the facing that wasn't here that John has, and uh, some of the uh, planking boards or the the deck boards were, because they were left out all winter, they were twisted and unusable. So let me show you from afar here. He gave me these nice steps. Uh, he wrapped, he used as much wood as he could, and he gave me a step all the way around to halfway to here. And then I decided, well, that's going to be a perfect little place for, like, a, just a little garden. I just put four hosta plants in there. And I may plant some, a, a couple um, annuals just for color. And then over here, this is the trouble spot. Uh, everybody says just to put gravel here. However, I just don't, I'm not, I just don't want gravel, really. So, uh, he didn't put a step here. I laid some boards there. It's not as high on this side of the deck. Uh, because he said if you get gravel, it'll bring that up and it'll just be a little step. But I'm thinking not getting gravel. What I did was I looked up and read all about low ground covers or types of lawns that aren't grass. And the thing I came up with the most and seems to be really, really nice, it's called mini clover or micro clover. It'll grow in sun and shade, partial shade, which is this is sort of partial shade. Uh, the sun travels during the day, you know. So um, I'm going to look to get seed for mini clover. I'm going to rough up this soil, add some topsoil to it, and plant some mini clover. I have lots of straw to use. That, like when I clean out the uh, chicken coop, I pick it out every day, and there's lots of straw. I have a whole big garbage can full of straw in there. So <clears throat> I have enough straw to cover up the, the seed until it starts to germinate. And it's very fast growing, and it germinates in five to seven days. So it doesn't even need cutting. You can cut it, but it doesn't need cutting. So I'm going to try it. Uh, it looks really pretty on the pictures you see of whole lawns, big, expansive lawns being made uh, out of this micro or mini clover. So <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking about that. So that's my deck. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it doesn't have to be huge like it was. And... Uh, I'm going to take you in front now and show you okay they weeded they it was a whole day they took of weeding and then uh, mulching so it all looks really neat and nice right now. Uh, 
There are still weeds, of course, that get broken off when they weed and they come through. But a couple days I have uh, gone through here and sort of with my dandelion picker thing and plunked out some, some weeds. And they'll come up like these right here. Uh, these little weeds, if I get them out right away, will be good. But you can see they pop up, you know, because especially these thistles. It's so hard to get rid of thistles. So uh, they put weed killer on the bricks, but it certainly didn't do much at all. I'm thinking the weed killer they used was just for weeds and not for grass. So this grass that's growing up between the uh, bricks, it didn't, it didn't kill off. So I don't know. I'm going to try my vinegar, salt, and uh, vinegar, salt. What is it? Ep vinegar, Epsom salts, and a little bit of dish detergent. So here we have just what's left. This is, uh, this plant needs cut back because this is lemon balm, but it's flowered now. You're not supposed to leave <laughs> your herbs flower, but uh, I did. So I have to cut that way back. And I left milkweed and they cut back, believe it or not, they cut back a lot of this hydrangea bush. But I think in the spring, I'm going to trim it down really good. My other blue hydrangeas, uh, let me show you. My other blue hydrangeas there, boy, it, it, it's kind of droopy. It needs water. <laughs> it's so dry. My little rose bush was trimmed up. There's some more weeds coming up there I have to get. But <clears throat> anyway, Take you around to the front. These are my purple cone flowers. I love these. Uh -huh. Peeking through the fence here. Uh, these indigo blue plants, they're done they're done blooming and these are the seed pods. Uh, when they dry out and you can hear them shake, the seeds shaking in there, then I can scatter seeds wherever I want. And hopefully, maybe, a plant will come up. But I have to get in here and get these thistles out of here. But there's a big area right here that I can plant something. I don't know what. Uh, out here, Oop. Out here, <laughs> they saved my, this was the most important thing, they saved my poppy plant. I have a few daisies coming up. They took as much out of my peppermint and spearmint as they could pull, but it'll come back. You can't kill it. It's sort of like thistles. <laughs> but uh, that's all bare in here. So this is all something where I could plant something. This big area. Now this looks messy, but the reason it's looking messy is because this is where my foxglove is. And you have to leave it so the, these uh, seeds dry and I can scatter the seeds. I can take them in the back and maybe scatter some seeds someplace else. But I have a nice big hosta plant here that's blooming. But they did weed in there what they could. And so that is uh, the progress outside. Okay, I hope I'm in frame here because, of course, with this GoPro camera, I don't have a front-facing screen, so I don't know what you're seeing. But I hope you're seeing me and not the side of me or something. 
But anyway, I had a handyman that I got through the neighborhood uh, watch thing. It's a neighborhood Facebook. I think it's on Facebook, maybe. I don't know. But it's called Next Door, and a lot of neighborhoods have it. And it's just a few roads around the area. And it's just to sort of, uh, if you want to uh, ask questions or you have something to sell or whatever, you can go on there and talk to your neighbors. So I've been on there a couple times and asked if anybody had the name of a good handyman. And then, of course, then Angie's List and that other one picks it up right away. And you get calls from them and they give you the names of companies. I don't want a company, I just want a handyman. <laughs> so uh, somebody on there knew of somebody, a man and his wife, that do this just on their own. And uh, so I had them come over yesterday, was it yesterday, to look at my storm cellar doors. With this couple ends up being, they have a farm they also have a 150-year-old house, and they've had that for a while, and the house before that was 150 years old also. So he knows a lot about storm cellar doors. He's built uh, several of them. He knew all about what to do. Uh, no problem. He can use the wood. He looked at the wood. He says, I'll just piece something together and just charge in the labor. And he's... He says, um, is there anything else that you want done around here? I said, I, I have a huge list of things that I can make. He says, well, what would be second on your list? He says, because I can be doing the doors and my wife can be doing whatever because she does as much handyman work as he does. She also does plumbing and electricity. These are farm people. Uh, so then he, they saw my chickens. They knew the breeds. They knew everything. They had had big flocks of chickens in the past. They have a small flock now. But he used to show chickens. So he knows, they know a lot about chickens. So that was good. I didn't ask them if they had horses. I forgot to ask them that. But anyway, I said the next job I would have you do would be to help me clean out my garage. So he says, well, let's look at it. And I'll bring a trailer or a small little trailer and get rid of a lot of stuff for you. So he walked around. We walked around, and she says, "Oh yeah, I can take care of this and uh, straighten it up and clean and everything." So uh, they gave me a price of building the storm cellar doors and cleaning out my garage and taking away anything out of the garage. Uh, my lawnmower guy is going to take care of getting rid of the rest of the wood for me after he's done using it. So they came to the door and gave me the price, $225. I said, for both? That's it. I shouldn't have said this, my daughter said, but it just came out of my mouth. I said, $225, that's it? I said, sold. <laughs> so my daughter says, you shouldn't have said that. Now next time they're going to charge you an arm and a leg for something. I says, my daughter does not trust people at all. So unfortunately, I still, well, not unfortunately, I still see, I know that there are good people in the world. <laughs> And I like this couple right off the bat. Of course, I like the last couple, too. <clears throat> but anyway, they're coming Monday already to do the storm cellar door. He wondered if I wanted him to take the washing machine out of there, which I may give him extra and have him do that. Because sometimes when you have a washing machine delivered, uh, they they make a charge for taking the old one away but most of the time not so anyway I'll be able to buy a washing machine I'll have to buy it online because I'm not going to go into the store but uh, soon 
I may have a new washing machine. But we'll see. He says these doors are going to be heavy uh, if you make them out of this wood. So he wondered how many times I use the storm cellar doors. I says I never use them. I just have to have new ones made because these are rotten and I don't want somebody to step on them and go through them. Plus, I have to have the washing machine brought in that way. So he says, okay, because they are going to be heavy for you to lift. So uh, that's okay. Uh, so that is what I wanted to make a video about. I will try to uh, edit this maybe down to uh, less time, possibly. And... I hope you uh, like seeing my deck and my garden since they aren't full of weeds. And the next one I do outside, I will make a video of, about my chickens. So see it on the next time. Uh, if I get this on today or tomorrow, then I will see you also on Sunday for a What's Sold video. So bye from Shirley's World.